Hello everyone, this is Darini, working as assistant professor, department of costume design and fashion at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we discuss about the topic is strategic management in textile. R&D and strategy. Introduction. An essential component of competitive strategy is recognizing the role that research and development plays R&D in the competitive success of a firm and acting to ensure the technology decisions and policies contribute to the firm's competitive advantage. This unit provides a framework which can be used to analyze the understand and linkages with R&D and competitive strategy, competitive advantages of firm, competitive strategy and competitiveness. The conventional approach to strategy has emphasized setting goals and developing the means to achieve them by using the matching the resource of the firm with uh, opportunities and threats in external environment which includes especially customers and competitors and deciding with industries business or product market uh, segment to compare and complete in at the highest corporate level there is a multi industry business firm the uh, diversified firms such as Reliance Groups, Tata Groups, etc. At this level, corporate strategy addressed issues like as choosing a balance among the industries or business chosen and in the case of firm achieving, uh, firm achieving among the industries or business chosen. Policies will be needed to carry out this, those goals. Uh, moving down to the next level, there are the functional functions of the firm, the engineering, manufacturing and production, marketing, sales, service, personal, human resource, purchasing, accounting, finance, planning and etc. The terms functional strategy is widely used at this level. Competitiveness is measured by market share trends over time and can be described in terms such as increasing, decreasing or stable. That means an important uh, discipline uh, contained in the dis definition described above, however, which is that competitiveness must be built on a sustainable basis. It is possible in the short run for a firm to get customer to buy its products or service over competing alternatives and an unsustainable basics by the basics by for example, organizing its assistance and using the proceeds to uh, subsidize to lower prices, thus attracting customers until the earning run into the firm collapse. Competitive, ad ad competitive advantages and R&D uh, Firms can enjoy competitive advantages in several ways. For instance, a firm may gain competitive advantages because the price of its product is lower, the quality of its product is higher, availability of its product is sooner or more definitely uh, just in time, customer service is better, Alternative, alternativeness of its product is greater, awareness of its product is greater, other social, uh, psychological and ideological factors. In practice, customers shop around amongst competitive alternatives, alternativeness by setting parameters for some of these advantages and then making the final choice on this basis of key or critical advantages. Customers today expect high uh, reliability and low prices and these are mutually um, attributes that as a feed superior is expected to achieve just to be in the competi competition but these are not often enough the winning competitors must have both the lowest price and highest reliability or achieve one of the other competitive advantages that customers value a firm which has a stronger r d program can influence all these factors positively and contribute to the competitive advantages of firm. Competitive advantage views R&D 
activatives as way of improving as process thus reducing cost or providing customers with the best of class benefits steps involved in developing r&d strategy the first one needs the belief that r&d strategy solve problems although the ideal idea of developing a r&d strategy may be accept- accepted usually development of an r&d strategy will not come about un- unless a r&d strategy is used for solving a problem which means uh, effort that goes goes into developing a r&d and conflicts that may occur about how r&d resource should be allocated for the great that un- useless r&d organization as a clear r&d strategy it rarely will make the effort or face the conflicts on the whole r&d organization require a strategy when they wish to use new technologies for future product the second one is creating planning staff within a r&d organization creating a planning planning staff or establishing a stronger complement commitment by the r&d managers in a small r&d organization to de- devote enough effort to r&d strategies planning in is necessary haldo line managers within a large r&d organizations by themselves can develop a r&d strategies in practice if there is no planning staff to facilitate and de- develop development of a r&d strategy there will never be a r&d strategy the third one is connecting r&d strategies planning to r&d operation operations to get an r&d staff to develop a r&d strategy r&d planners have a fine ways to relate r&d strategic planning to r&d operations the this connections between r&d strategy planning and r&d operations has two aspects member of the r&d staff have to be able to see that their interest are severed served through developing a r&d strategy the fourth one is linking r&d efforts or strategy to customers needs although it it is important for a r&d organization to link its strategic operations this is not enough for r&d organizations strategic plan this strategic plan must be clearly linked to customers futures need therefore uh, besides doing r&d strategy planning a r&d organization must also get marketing done it in it its company two of the hard question the must be addressed in the strategic marketing or the first one who will the company's customers be in the future the another one is what will those customers need in future the fourth one is active support support of the senior management to get its r&d strategy integrated with business plan an r&d organization must have the active support for of senior business manager to gain uh, the support of sen- senior business manager and r&d organization must explain the value of r&d business terms for example with regards to how r&d will help the company satisfy customer needs cut cost expand into the new market minimize distribution problem to so r&d organization that have been able to gain the active support of senior business managers for their r&d strategy were helped by organizational factors for example in a chemical company the r&d organization was able to gain the active support of senior business manager because the chief executive officer is the one of the major proponents of r&d in the company thank you